Hello, and in this lesson, we are going to build upon VPC basics and this time talk specifically about internet gateways. And we're going to specifically identify the internet gateway definitions, function of the internet gateway, attaching and detaching an internet gateway, creating an internet gateway, and some basic internet gateway rules. So, internet gateways, also known as IGW, we'll see that abbreviation a lot, for a simple definition, it is a combination of hardware and software that provides your private network with a route to the outside world, meaning the internet, for the VPC. In terms of an AWS definition, an internet gateway is horizontally scaled, redundant, and highly available VPC component that allows communication between instances in your VPC and the internet. It therefore imposes no availability risk or bandwidth constraints on your network traffic. So just to kind of sum up those two definitions really quick, for the simple definition, just think of the internet gateway as your cable modem, right? Or as the modem that you use to connect to the internet. It is the entryway either into or out of your private network. And with the AWS definition, I really want you to focus on redundant and highly available and allows communication between instances in your VPC and out to the internet. So with that being said, let's again take a look at our VPC diagram and understand internet gateways and take a look back over at the VPC dashboard in the console and where you find internet gateways. So over here under virtual private cloud and the navigation, you can either click on any of these here or any of these here to kind of dive deeper into the VPC components. But for now, right here, we're going to click on Internet Gateways and take a look. So here is our Internet Gateway. This is the default gateway that was created when we created our account and had the default VPC created for us. It has an ID. The state is attached, and it does state the VPC that it is attached to. So if you look here, the VPC that is attached to ends in CV5C. So now if I switch over to VPCs, you'll see that the VPC that we currently have in this account ends in CB5C. So these are just using the VPC identifiers, ID numbers, as well as the internet gateway identifiers just to kind of understand and link the two together so that we know which component is assigned to which VPC and vice versa. So clicking on the internet gateway itself, you can see some more information that's down here. And there's not a whole lot of information here. Again, it just tells us that it's available, it is attached, and it is attached to this particular VPC. And what I mean when I say attached is this, it means that it is currently attached to the VPC and routes are provided. Now I can easily come up here and detach it from the VPC. So when I click detach from the VPC, what's basically happened is this. It's just gone from the VPC. It's still in my account, but I've now removed it from the VPC. And what has now happened is that anything inside the VPC, these instances or any other AWS resources that I would have had provisioned, now would have no route out to the internet. So they would still be able to communicate with each other, and I'll get into that in the next lesson, but they would have no way of accessing the outside world. So. I can do one of two things. I can either create a new internet gateway and attach that, or I can simply just reattach this particular gateway. And if I just want to reattach it, I can just, again, it's selected here, attach to VPC, select whatever VPC. I currently only have one VPC in my account. Click attach. And just like that, it's back, and our VPC has a route out to the internet. To create an additional internet gateway, I just click here on create an internet gateway. I'm going to give it a name. I'll call this Essentials Internet Gateway. I'll create it. And there it is. It's created. It has a name. And that is available to be attached to any other VPC that I decide to create in the future. Now, a couple of things that we do want to know about internet gateways, besides the fact that they provide our connection to the internet for our VPC, is that only one internet gateway can be attached to a VPC at a time. So you can't have two or three internet gateways on a VPC, you can only have one. So I can't attach this here. So if I go to attach, right, it's not going to give me an option to attach it because I don't have a VPC, which currently does not have an internet gateway attached. 
And an internet gateway cannot be detached from a VPC while there are active AWS resources in the VPC, such as an EC2 instance or an RDS database. So if we currently had any live resources provisioned in this VPC and I wanted to detach it, it would give me an error saying that it would not allow me to do that. So that is a quick review of what an internet gateway is. And with that, we will conclude this video. Thank you for watching. You may now move on.